Okay, let's go through the process of installing and authorizing Setup Factory 7.0. I've got my installation file on my desktop here behind. You can see I've double clicked on that and here it's started up the process. If you've received your product by electronic download, you'll have a file like that to click on. If not, if you've got it on CD-ROM, you can just go ahead and insert that in the CD drive and if you have autoplay activated, this will automatically pop up. If not, just surf onto the CD-ROM and find the setup file and double click it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our setup process by clicking on Next. We're going to read through this agreement and make sure that we agree to everything and understand everything. And then we're going to go ahead and click on I Agree. We'll move to the next step here and this is where you've got to put in your name and your serial number. I'm going to put in the company and my name and then I'm going to go ahead and type in my serial number. Now, you should receive this by email from Indigo Rose software when you purchase the product. If not, you can go ahead to support.indigorose.com and make a request and they'll get you up and going right away. If you've got the physical product, this, the serial number should be included with that product. And again, if you have questions about that, go ahead and email sales at indigorose.com. Okay, so your serial number, when you find it, should look something like this. This is just a test serial number that we've set up for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and press next now that we've got our serial number typed in there. We're going to go ahead and just go with the default location. That looks good to me. And again, we'll just go with the default setting here. It's going to install a shortcut just for me, not for all the users, and that's perfect. And then it gives us a summary of the information here, which we agree to. We'll go ahead and press next. And that's great. It starts the setup process here. And as you can see, it's lightning fast. It's going through the process really quick. It gives us a progress bar so that we know what's going on uh, at each step of the, the process. And we can see the actual files being copied onto our hard drive. And it should be over about now. There we go. So that was the entire process of installation. Let's go ahead and unclick the view readme file. You guys can go ahead and read that later if you want. And click the run setup factory 7.0 radio box here and press finish. This is going to bring up our application for the first time. Now if you're running Setup Factory for the first time, it's going to take a couple seconds longer to load than it normally does because it's going to go ahead and parse through all the themes and whatnot. Okay, here's our activation system. You only need to do this once and once you're activated you're good to go and it's a very quick process. We're going to go ahead and activate via the internet. Now if you'd rather activate manually via your web browser or via email, go ahead and click on this other activations op options button here and take a look at the information there. I'm going to go just go ahead and press next here. I've read through the screen. As you can see here it's connecting to the internet and it's authorizing us with our serial number right now. And this is just a security feature to protect your investment in Indigoro software and it's a, a one-time event that takes just a couple of seconds and then you're activated and you're good to go. If you have any questions about the activation process after viewing this video, go ahead and contact Indigo Rose Software anytime or go to support.indigorose.com and take a look at some of the knowledge base entries and, and so forth related to this topic. Okay, so it's been going for a second here and this will depend on the speed of your internet connection of course. It's going to make a, uh, a two-way connection here but it's going to be pretty quick. should be done in a couple of seconds here. And there we go. Our application is installed and authorized and we're ready to go. As you can see this time when the application started up, it started up very fast because it didn't have to parse all the themes. And normally when you start it up, it'll start up quite fast like that. We're going to go ahead and close our tip of the day window here for now. And then we will go ahead and press the exit button to get rid of our application. And then we'll move on to the next video lesson now that we've got our version of Setup Factory 7.0 installed and authorized.